Welcome to the Seattle Peace Chorus community of singers, activists, and you, the supporter. Music is a powerful tool that delights our senses, brings people together, and can be a catalyst to change people's hearts and minds. Like you, we appreciate music as a universal language, a language that speaks across all types of borders, whether geographic, political, or cultural. Music helps us find inspiration and hope, even during these troubled times. I come from a very strong background in classical music. I've sung with the Yudup Chorale. When Seattle Peace Chorus performed the Verity Requiem, it was just incredible. Our director, Fred West, really believed in us and we all rose to the challenge, especially because of the powerful message that we were performing. It was the anniversary of the performance of this work by the Jewish prisoners at the Terezin concentration camp during World War II. With only one smuggled score, they performed this in front of Nazi officials, and afterwards some went to the gas chambers. It was so emotional, so dramatic, and so powerful. And we didn't just perform, we performed well. When I was a child, I saw migrant workers picking strawberries in California. It's a memory that inspired me, as an adult, to visit a refugee camp in Honduras, and later to warmly greet Salvadorans who had lived in that camp. So I was excited when the Peace Chorus decided last fall to focus our concert and travel on immigration. Two of the songs from our immigration concert entitled Music Crosses Borders were especially meaningful to me when we traveled to the border states of Texas, Arizona, and California. The songs were Give Me Your Tired, Your Poor, and Where There Is Unity. Knowing the stories of how dangerous it was for most of the Central Americans to live in their own countries, and how long and arduous had been their journey to the United States, the words Give Me Your Tired, Your Poor, as inscribed on the Statue of Liberty, came alive for me. In a migrant shelter in El Paso, when we sang the gospel song, Where There Is Unity, we formed one big circle, chorus and refugees, all holding hands. Seeing Hispanic men crying and choking back our own tears, we sang, Where There Is Unity, You Will Find Strength. Now is the time for all God's people to come together in unity. <laughs> I knew that there were things in the world that I wanted to speak out against, but the Seattle Peace Corps gives me that voice through song and in community with others to speak out. And one example was in Olympia, where we sang with a tribe who was protesting against the Dakota Access Pipeline. And because we were singers and because we were there in support of them, they invited us into their circle, into their ceremony, a sacred ceremony that I was blessed to be a part of. And so it really kind of comes back to giving voice to the voiceless. I understand what it's like not to have one, and I can see the Seattle Peace Corps doing that for me and for others. My father was my hero. He immigrated from Mexico to California when he was four. He became a U.S. citizen, served in the military. When I sing with the Seattle Peace Corps Action Ensemble at the Northwest Detention Center in Tacoma, I often contemplate how devastating it would have been for my father if he had been held in a facility like that, denied his civil and human rights. Singing with SPC Action Ensemble empowers me. Regardless of where we sing and the issues we address, our hope is that those who hear us will use their own voice, their own talents, skills, influence towards social and environmental justice. Your support helps us to produce inspiring performances that bring to life your dreams for a better world. You are helping us to reach out and to collaborate with those in need, such as an immigrant in detention, a prisoner seeking justice, 
and Native American activists who are working to save our struggling planet. Your gift can raise spirits with a message of justice and peace. When you give generously, you keep the music and the message of hope alive for our world and for future generations.